You got to get my technical top tier joker or my Kirby. <laughs> you got my Kirby. <laughs> GG, shake my hand. I'm getting this money. Love to see it. Top hands. Top hands were five. not shaken. <laughs> so, I got better. No, you didn't. 1 0, Sweet Lou. Yes, yeah, Sweet Lou's up one. That is correct. 1 yeah. 0, Sweet Lou. Yeah, so, both players are long time rugglers here at Xeno Wi Fi events. See them all the time at Fight Club. They always like talk smack. I think it's like the first time seeing them fight each other, though. I don't think they've ever seen each other, like, see them fight each other in bracket. Yeah, I, I don't recall ever seeing this uh, this match play out, though I've heard <laughs> they're some of the few players I've actually heard their voice, but never seen their face. So, it be that time of time to to settle the superiority. Already 1-0 on Sweet Lou's part. Uh, see if she can wrap up this game and wrap up this set. It's reasonable we're going back to PS2. Never want to take uh, Sweet Lou to, I never want to take Zelda to a very tall, uh, a very sh small stage. The what's the word I'm looking for? The coverage that uh, Zelda can provide with things like Phantom are just oh, the impressive. But... The unreactable. <laughs> oh, I call it the unreactable because no one really reacts to the teleport online. Really, no, <laughs> you, you're a god. <laughs> Same with Phantom sometimes too. Zelda's a really strong character in this, in this uh, environment. Nice lock there from Sweet yeah. Lou. There she is. <laughs> yeah, I felt that side. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. I mean, it just kind of... Uh, certain things and certain characters really thrive in, in, different, uh, in different states. And the best way that I can describe it is Zelda is strong when game states are simplified. Mm -hmm. Because her options are linear but powerful. Yeah. And that's what she can do. That's just the, the environment we're, we're in right now. Nice little kill there from Six of Swords. He's running across the stage here, see if they can get some advantage back. Those up close uh, dash attacks from uh, Six of Swords. Dude. They were getting them smoked when they were playing against Nasty Flygon, but they're they're working out a lot better in this game. I guess the Sweet Loot probably doesn't know like, how to punish it out of shield. But still pretty even to, to call anyone's game here, so it just matters who's going to get it first. Yeah, Zelda, a ton more explosive, and you can start uh, you start trying to put on a little bit more pressure in spots like these, are, but because Zelda is taller than, or it, the average human height, I suppose, uh, Slingshot will just be a nuisance forever. That was almost an incredibly sick jump read, but... Getting the sour spot and a game and the game is prolonged. The second stock is prolonged. Never want to see that when you almost have these kills. Dash attacks coming through, kind of stop these shield grabs. Can she pop that? The explosive flame? Yeah. Uh, not explosive flame. The Din's fire. Uh. Same thing. Uncertain. <laughs> I call it. It's an explosive flame. It is. It is what it does. Yeah. Nehru's glove out of, out of hit stun, kind of tried and true, get those invincibility frames. Okay, now it's Sweet Loop just kind of throwing moves out. We're trying to bait out the get up. Okay, there you go. Good trade, yeah. So even stocks. Two six of can do to get that percentage up. Sweet Loop can 100% go to the other side of the stage and start throwing out night and stuff. Yeah, I'm surprised. Surprised we're not seeing as much night as would be expected. Granted, night can be pocketed, uh, which is something. But <laughs> yeah. but she can also reflect it back too and react to it. If anything, you know. Yeah. So it's Obvious. it's a unique dynamic, but I mean that's kind of why we're seeing so many dins uh, dins fire because even if they pocket it, it doesn't really do anything. Yeah. So playing. Uh... In game RPS, nice anti air forward smash. Not gonna take the stock yet, but oh. <gasps> oh there he goes. Oh, I think we're not far right now. It's time to react. Jump fan. Oh, yeah, see. Straight up lost to it. You know, it didn't reflect. You know, it's just straight up lost to it. Now, this a good chance for six of swords. Get this edge guard and you can take the stock. Up there? No, going for the new shot, trying to uh, perhaps read spot dodge, but six just holding shield, playing calm. 
Death percent for perhaps both players. One solid combo, uh, one solid up tilt mm. perhaps. And Nair out of shield is going to keep them off. Good block on the fishing rod right there. They should do it, right? Oh, oh no. He nice. messed up. Solid sweet spot. Takes the slugger there right out of the shield. Sweet chin music them out of the... Out of the defense. Takes it stuck. That's so tragic. Because normally the the jab stuff, when they're at this high percent, like 104, usually that true combo is into F-Tilt, but just slightly too late. And Lightning Kick out of shield for his troubles. 2-0 for Sweet Lou heading into this game three, which uh, we'll see if they run it back. No, doesn't look like it. Stage swap incoming. Uh, look how fast that was. Sweetly looking to, to take this move on the top eight right now. Six of Swords has to do something here. What yeah, do they I'm, do? Really? I know they have multiple characters in their repertoire. I'm surprised they're not uh, that we're not seeing the Greninja. Greninja kind of pokes at exactly what uh, Zelda struggles with in a lot of instances, which is like speed. Uh, aerial uh, kill power, like killing aerials, uh, kill confirms. Like the Zelda wants to prolong games, simplify the uh, stage looks, and like hold control. And Greninja can weave around control so effectively that he would th I would think would give Zelda a hard time. But now six sticking to his gun, sticking to the Isabel. Let's we'll see if he regrets it. Yeah. I'm okay with that, honestly. If you have one character that you want to just, just main throughout the whole entirety of a bracket, it's, it's good to use them and not switch off and mess up your vibes, your matchups, in future games. So going as well as a comfort pick is, is, is fine by me. Isabel can definitely work, it's just timing and your confirms have to be on point in order to go further in this bracket than now. They're down by two games, and they have to work a lot harder on their counter picks if they do happen to win these next two games. So let's use yeah. six of swords so and get some get some dubs here. Ooh, nice forward there from Sweet Lou, kicking him off stage, putting themselves in a nice out of advantage mid screen spot. Clanking with the phantom as he's uh, <laughs> he's reacting to it and rolls right into the up. That was yeah. literally a, that was literally a stock throw away right oh, right from six of what are they? I don't okay. know. I thought they were gonna run off as well, but yeah, like, like the roll was so uh. obvious. Like, <laughs> all right, up throw, nice, nice catch, nice catch. Command hit of the of the fishing rod. We're gonna we're gonna even this game back up. It it, it do be tragic that you lose. Uh, you lose a big, uh, a big offensive swing to the clanging of a multi-hit, but you know what? You gotta take these instances in stride. And Sweet Lou seems to be doing that, just kind of playing her game, uh, playing strong. Not, not trying to let the the dog run neutral, but instead counter, counter the control character with a control character, but with a lot more kill power. Yeah. This case, Zelda would be the stronger one here. As Showing us how strong she is from anywhere on the straight. I can't sweep on slingshot though. Yeah, the, that, that air dodge frame trap gonna do it. Neighbor's glove gets her out of yet another troublesome situation. You would think that uh, Isabel has the range to mess with uh, Neighbor's glove timings, but man, looks like looks like Sweetly's just really a. Uh, Careful on when she pulls the trigger on what uh, get out uh, on whether or not she mm. does Nehru's love or not. Some package drops with her. Great. Uh, yeah. It's just how Six of has to utilize those tools, as you mentioned before. They have to space and then watch out for up B. As up B is a nice burst option she can throw in and throw off a lot of timing for Six of. Oh, shield holding. Ooh. A lot of fear. Yeah, plenty of it, and so much so that Sweet Lou just doesn't even want to bother with a, mm -hmm. like hold shield up close situations. Like Tenerus Club gets her out of danger, and she's gonna keep it oh. like that. 
as the jump on yet. Sometimes, sometimes it's okay to go to ledge. It's okay. It's, it's okay. The ledge, <laughs> the ledge is your friend most majority of the time. It's just depending on how you move from ledge, it'll kill you. Platform is your enemy. You can you can curse out platform all you want though. <laughs> it's gotten many, plenty of more people killed more than ledge, in my opinion. Oh yeah. Okay. But yeah. It's... Yeah, that air dodge is gonna get hard punished. But and I know like. Yeah, Zelda's ledge trapping's really good. F smash is huge. It covers so much. Uh, Phantom makes you want to do something else, and Phantom uh, and makes you want to get off ledge as soon as possible because uh, the knight itself hits ledge. So you gotta work around it, and which is why fast characters are so good against Zelda because they can grab ledge, jump off, and get out of there super quick. But it's the it's the name of the game. When you're playing a slower character into Zelda, you have to be ready for uh, you have to be ready for those spots. And the fact that Six wanted to avoid ledge as much as possible looks like me like he wasn't ready for he wasn't re ready for Zelda's ledge trapping. So, we just, we just punished him for something else. Yeah. All right. So we 